Welcome back to our channel. Welcome. My name is Tenny. And I'm Jay. And welcome to the Echoes of Our Voices. So, yeah. So, as you... I, I'm sure you guys already know this. We are nurses. Mm -hmm. If you don't know before, know this now. I know peace. I know peace. We are registered <laughs> nurses who work in the United States. Yeah. So, yes. We are nurses here. And we... As most people know, especially people who are trying to even immigrate here, you have to write an exam called NCLEX. So what NCLEX stands for is National Council, Council Licensure Examination. Examination. So it's basically NCLEX for short. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. She's like, oh, I love yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very wonderful abbreviation. So NCLEX is uh, a national board exam that all nurses have to take before they can actually practice as a nurse. Mm -hmm. And I remember uh, my own experience with NCLEX. Hey. So, yes, yeah, so we're just going to give some tips and tricks and I guess just things that helped us with um, NCLEX. And then before we get into what, you know, the tips and all that, let's give you a little bit of background. Um, first of all, we both schooled in the United States. So I did my nursing here in the United States and she did her nursing here in the United States. Also, NCLEX examination, depending on where, it's the same examination, but if you want to take it or get a license in different states, different states have different process to which you can register for the exam. But again, it's the same exam you're taking. Mm. Uh, so let's throw that out there. So if you want to get a license in Tennessee, you might have to go to a different process, but it's the same exam. If you want to get a license in Virginia, in New York, and then some states are called the compact states, mm. where you can use your license in those states multi -state. because it's called multi-state license why some states you have to get there it's like california <laughs> you would better have their license to yeah there. they won't let you just come with any random license mm -hmm. yes they're very they have high standards and then also secondly um just because we're open people and very plain we did the regular NCLEX, the former NCLEX, not the regular NCLEX, the former NCLEX. Mm. Now they have what they call the new, new, next gen or new next gen, gen or next generation NCLEX, NCLEX yeah. which I think is a little easier when it comes to the point aggregation. And the only difference is still the same question, the same technique. The only difference is that whenever you have the select all that applies question, select all that apply question, um, if you answer two, you get points for that. Before, the one I took, uh, the one she did, um, she took as well, um, if you were supposed to select three options and one of them is wrong, you miss mm -hmm. that. But the new one, if you select two options and they are right, you get points mm -hmm. for the two options. So okay. I think that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a good thing for it you is, all if yeah, you're trying to take NCLEX really right now. Yeah. I remember with the select, oh, if you selected two right answers and it was one right answer you didn't select, you were still wrong. So, yeah. yeah it was, Back then. <laughs> yeah. Oof. It was bad. It was brutal. <laughs> it was. So yes, and I don't know, like for the test, most people say if you, because sometimes the test, the way it's automated is if you've already reached a certain amount of passing or failing, it's automatically shut off. Mm -hmm. So most people say if your test shut off at 75, is it a good thing or a very bad thing? <laughs> it's a good thing because it means that you have done so well that you're able to pass the exam and subscribe question. Or you did so bad that the the, the computer was like, nah, you're not going to be able to pass this exam if you keep going. I'll tell you a little story so about that like, later. Let's just end the thing for you right here. Mm -hmm. So that's why the 75 question point is where people are always like, I think that's the halfway mark mm -hmm. for the um, exam. Yeah, that's quite important that you know. And then the fact that, you know, 75 questions, if you get it right, is the least, you know, you can get and pass. Don't get anxious when you get to like 100 or two, um, sorry, yeah, 120. 120. Don't get mm -hmm. angry. Some people, when they get to like uh, past seven, the family begin to fear that it means I'm failing, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not passing, mm -hmm. I can't make it. And then anxiety sets in. Don't be like that. If you're still, at, you're what, 110, just keep it going. Head straight, you know, confidence. Mm -hmm. Just put on that, you know, confidence and just do it. Mm -hmm. So don't get anxious or frightened. Absolutely. Just let us throw that out there too. Yeah, yeah I, I think mine ended at 120 questions. So I was like, huh, I don't, I don't know anything. I was in my mind. I was already like feeling like, "Hey, I really feel this thing." And most people, when they walk out of NCLEX exam, no one has ever walked out and felt like they passed. I did, and I'm going to share a story about that. I actually <laughs> did, <laughs> and that story is so weird. <laughs> yeah, I thought I feel. Maybe honestly. I should share the story before we talk about yeah, the tips yeah, for she, NCLEX. Because yeah, actually, um, I took my NCLEX examination, and um, I remember my friends taking theirs, and they're like, "Oh." 
they had 75 because they were like, oh, we failed because now it was really hard. And so I got into the NCLEX exam and it was so easy. I finished 75 questions in 30 minutes. Hey, big brain. My, I, I, for real, this is not even to brag. Over here, people. But for real, I finished and only a few of my friends know this. Few of my friends, because it was a very sad situation for me. So let me tell you the story. So I finished seven five questions in thirty minutes. It was so simple. And I was like, "Is this really NCLEX or something? Is not right here hey. for me?" <laughs> <laughs> we know who are you sweating to our <laughs> big then, brain. And then I remember walking out of the exam. I was like, "Yeah." I saw a girl out there. She was calling me. I don't think I made it. And I was like, "Huh." And then I was like, yay, I can't pick up my phone, call my friend, hey, I'm, I, it's so simple, is that really NCLEX? And then, you know, there's this trick to which you can check your, your exam score. Mm -hmm. So, not your score, like, you know, if you pass or you fail, like, you will see your license, or what's that trick again? Uh, the Pearson view. It will trick. let you pay. Yes. It will let you pay again if you fail. But they said, don't try that, because that's not really, <laughs> really, like, well, 100%, but yeah. people did but that. Did it. Yeah. So, um... Or better still, you wait till evening or the next day and go to the nursing website and see if your license will pop up or the N R Y N N R N U R Y S Y yeah nurses yeah the com and then just put your name and then your state where you took it and it's gonna pop up or something so my friends did that it worked for them it got to my time hey after seventy five questions thirty minutes so it did not work for me I was trying to pay. It wasn't even, it was just when I clicked on it, I, I wasn't going to do the payment thing because I, can, I don't have money to be using to be playing games. So I went to the next day, went to the website and tried to see if I would put my details, my NCLEX, my, my license number would pop up. But guess what? Nothing was showing. Nothing was showing. So yeah. my friends are like, Jay, you know, because they knew me from school. I was like a straight A student, no cap. This is not to brag, but hey. I'm just throwing some things out there. So my friends are like, Jay, oh, tell us you've passed. <laughs> That's my, you know, my Caucasian friends, because these are the friends I had. Because I told you guys in one of the videos about how kind of lonely in nursing school. I'm like, Jay, we know you passed. Come on, tell us. I was like, I have not seen my license. I don't know what's going on. So I went online to read about it. They were like, so my mine was like, my result is on hold, was what I saw on the website. So. When I read about things like jam. that, uh, <laughs> and it's not jam. When I went online to read about it, people were saying, "If you finish at seventy-five, it means oh, and you, and you feel it means you're so dumb, like you don't know what you're doing." <laughs> if you pass seventy-five, it means you know what you're doing. Oh, Everyone wow. just had different and I, I started no thinking about my life. Wait, I'm not sure this question was easier me, <laughs> but it was not functioning. <laughs> so I was like, "Oh, I think I failed." So I was really worried. I couldn't eat for two days. So I true, went, true. yeah, I put it in for two days. Two days. I, was, I was literally shaking. Some of my friends and my my close pals will know about this. I was literally shaking. Then one of my friends in school knew my roommate. She was like, "Oh, because you went to go and take your ankle and your ankle is fun." I was like, "I'm sorry, I didn't take my ankle. I had to like, oh, forgive me." <laughs> but I was so worried. I failed because I was like, "Okay, come to think of it, everybody would have been copying that ankle is hard." And I took you know seventy five questions in thirty minutes. And so I called the nursing board and then they directed me to Pearson View. I called Pearson View and they told me they are trying to investigate to see if something was fishy for my exam. I mean, come on, 75 questions in 30 minutes sounds like ridiculous. But if you if you know what you're doing, you know what no, you're doing. Yeah. I'm not supposed to sleep or sit down and say, okay, I'm going to take 30 minutes to answer 10 questions. No. And I'm, I'm, I, 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 that has never worked for me. When I know that this is the right answer, I better pick it and move on, or else my brain is gonna re redirect mm -hmm. me and say, mm -hmm. don't want to mm -hmm. and guess you "Let's know. do this one." Mm -hmm. So, and then you know, if you're if you're a nurse student, you know that all answers are right. <laughs> all answers are <laughs> right. All the you answers choose are the right. Best. Choose the, the most right answer. The right one for the question, mm -hmm. not the exactly. best. They're so, right. <laughs> you know, that being said, I remember calling my uh, one of the statutory keepers in my church. I like, for the church key. I had to go and sit down in the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. I was like, "God." Jesus, take the will. If I take fail, it from my hands. If I fail, straight A student, valedictorian. How they want to come? How mm. are they gonna tell people? Mm. So I was like, I, but I think these questions were so easy. Anyways, long story short, after three days, my result was released and I passed NCLEX. To the glory of God. So hallelujah, hallelujah somebody. You know, I from hallelujah. feeling that you know I I bombed it to feeling where ah. It looked like that crashed, so 
So, you know, I understand that feeling of people saying that you can never be sure that you passed NKs. I was sure, but then I became unsure afterwards. <laughs> and then the things you see on social, like I say, on online, who good things are so hmm. at your own risk. Oh. Honestly, they will just give you hypertension and you'll just be afraid for no reason. So it's best to just wait until your results come out. Because we are trying to Google, oh, what does this mean? After? <laughs> you'll just be unnecessarily worrying yourself. Oh. We're not eating for two days. Like, gee, ah. I might put this in the video though, but I don't think so. Uh, there's a picture I took with my friends where they forced me to come out to go to the pool with them mm. because I was so down. I was like, you know, you know what it means to fail NCLEX? International students fail NCLEX? Huh. So, um, you know, they forced me out. They came to pick me up and then in the picture, I looked very sad. I was in the pool, like thinking, I'm rethinking my life in the pool. I you know that's like, you are close to death inside the pool now, bro. <laughs> No, but it was, it, it, it is what it was, the glory of God I passed. So we're going to wow. share with you guys yes. how to pass your NCLEX for sure and be successful. And then again, whether 75, 125, you pass, you pass. Nobody cares. Exactly. Just, They're not going to put on your license. 75 questions, 100 oh, well, questions, yeah, They don't do that. Surprised. You pass, you pass. That's all that matters. Exactly. So Tene, can you share some tips about how you were able to pass your NCLEX? Yes. So I tried to dedicate as much time as I could to studying for the NCLEX. So, you know, as international students, we don't really have the luxury of writing the NCLEX multiple times because we're already on a time constraint. Mm -hmm. If you're an international student here, you have two options, either to um, leave the country after 60 days or maybe to just start your OPT and then try to find a job within that time limit that they gave me. So basically, I studied, um, I believe, from May to about August. So that was how long I had to actually find a job. And then um, while I was studying, I used UWorld. So UWorld is a question bank of NCLEX style questions that you can use to practice and actually simulate being in the NCLEX. So I studied that for about six hours a day. I studied for six days a week. Well, that six hours, not, you know, I won't lie. It's not like a consistent six hours, but I tried to get to like six to eight hours. And then I studied for six days a week and I was, and I would, I would, just have one day off on Sundays. So I did that consistently over three months. And um, you know, I just uh, and I also watched uh, some YouTube videos that covered like the nursing concept, like ABGs, labs, electrolytes, um, delegation style questions. I might even link some of them in the des description below. And then I tried to watch a McClimic audio, but there was just so much audio files for me to go through that I kind of just focused on answering the questions and I didn't really watch most of my clinic. But the one that I watched and the one that I listened to was actually very helpful. It was just lots for me to go through. So I tried to focus on just you world most of the time. How about you? Um so basically for me I took my um NCLEX within four weeks um after I received my ATTS because then they, they kept on ringing to our years in school that you know you need to take it as soon as you get out of school that way things are still very much fresh but that will not be the same for someone outside of the country international student because then you didn't school for yourself you're trying to understand the things how questions are being asked and just getting familiarized with um with the getting yourself familiarized with the questions and you know how things are being taught in this country. So for sure, I used the UWorld, like she recommended UWorld. UWorld is a very, very, very good um, tool to use to study for NCLEX. And I, I remember that the UWorld, um, the color code, which is blue and white, is the same way the NCLEX is, you know, would come up on your screen. So that kind of sets your brain, you know, in a way that, you know, this is what I probably would anticipate in terms of text color and that in the exam. I also use the ATI. ATI is something that was used in my school to school, you know, throughout nursing school. So we had access to ATI. And of course, if I have access to it, why would I want to use it? So I discovered that some of the questions in the ATI were very similar with the question in the UO. Just a little bit of tweaking. And then I also discovered that, you know, with the ATI, you could take the test, like um, maybe 150 questions. The way the, I think the actual question is 150 or 145. I, I can't mm. really remember, but it would uh, make you take it like you're in the NCLEX. You can set it to take the test like that. So when you do that, it, it stops when you pass. So it gives you that vibe of, oh, I'm taking NCLEX, and it prepares you for what you would see on, on the day of the NCLEX in terms of, you know, oh, am I still on track, things like that. So that's what I did. I used ATR. And then the McClemic video, McClemic video, 
on YouTube. You, I think you'll find that on YouTube. A lot of people have been turning that video because he doesn't teach the NCLEX um, class anymore. But anyways, it was very helpful for me, especially the prioritization video. It would really help you because even though it's a prioritization video, it's still kind of like you can link prioritization to OB, to pediatric, to adult care. Because at the end of the day, even though you're trying to prioritize, you can be prioritizing on a whole big patient. Like someone who has preeclampsia, someone who is um, showing up at a certain in a number of decision weeks, or someone that um, is probably bleeding in their first trimester. It will tell you to like prioritize those people. So that was very crucial for me because but the bulk of your question will also come from prioritization. So know that and know peace. So the maternity video was very, very, very helpful. And I remember also watching just little videos online just to be able to get things, you know, go online, watch videos. I'm not understanding the system very well. So, and then that was also helpful. There are quite a number of videos you can watch that are very, very, very good videos online. Also, the U World, another thing that is very good with the U World is that whenever you take a question, it will give you the rationale for the question. So why it's very important that you know why you miss a question because that helps you. You don't want to take an exam and just know why the answer is right. No, that's not a good way to study. Know why the other answers are not right. Why are they false? And also the U world will also explain to you based on the body system. Like it will tell you the pathophysiology of the answer. Like for instance, if you're talking about maybe OB an OB patient, maybe you know studies of pregnancy, the in the question, the rationale part of the first part where it explains, it will tell you the different studies of pregnancy, things to expect in that in those studies of pregnancy. So that's quite helpful because then you are, you are studying as well. So you are studying, you are answering questions, but you are also studying. So that's the good thing about the U World. So the U World definitely I recommend and the McLemmer video and ATI if you have that. But make sure you're not just bombarding yourself with too many materials. Seek the one that works for you, like we already recommended some for you, and just stick with it. I know someone that used Acha, used Kaplan, used U World. I'm like, why? I mean, if it helps you, that's yeah. good, but it's so expensive. You're it spending is. a lot of money for like this. Like $200 for um, you world. And if you're international, that's 400000 plus. So yes. that's a lot of money. So imagine you're spending like bu buying three different, four different question banks. They already spend like $600. Mm -hmm. No, sorry, $800. Mm -hmm. Max. Yeah. But yeah, that's just, um, yeah, it's just focus on the one that actually helps you the most. I just stick to that so you don't have to keep jumping and spending so much money on different question banks. And this can also apply to other exams. It doesn't just have to be NCLEX. Um, you know, if you're studying for the CCR and exam, you're studying for the MCAT, just any, any exam in general, this is just something that you can generally apply to exam taken in, you know, in the US and other countries. And also the word written for you if you're trying to take NCLEX if you're outside of the country, don't feel so... Uh, what are you... Wait, whether you're going to take NCLEX and take it at 75, 125, or whatever, NCLEX is NCLEX. They won't, you know, know you for a person at 75 or 125. So we're rooting for you, please. Take your time, study, yeah. and know that you can do it. Believe in yourself. You can do it. For mm -hmm. sure, you can. So it, you just need to do that both stuff. Study, get the materials you need, and just keep studying. And then you can also ask us questions in the comment section or go to our uh, Instagram page through the echoes of our voices to ask these questions based on what you're studying or like, you know, the videos we talked about and things like that. But know that you can do it. You can do it. You can mm -hmm. always change the narrative. And with the good uh, marking system with the new next generation NCLEX question, mm -hmm. it makes life even easier. Yeah. From what we yeah, from what we heard it's like they're trying to not make the um I guess they're not trying to make how they're they're trying to limits they try to lower the high bar that they've set mm -hmm. because i feel like a lot of people are just feeling unnecessarily yeah people that could have actually passed on the first try but you know they have to repeat like three times because of what because you guys are just like you know it's just just to make life easy for everybody i feel like they were just trying to get more people to actually understand the material and actually be successful on the first try yeah and then if it's your first time second time or second or third attempt you can do it believe mm -hmm. in yourself don't give up just get the right material that works for you and just sit down and take your time draft a plan that works for you i know i'm going to spend these hours number of hours every day to study for the end because i'm going to use this material so mm -hmm. please and please just ensure that you're doing the right thing and just um getting the right info so again we're rooting for you we're believing you so much the sky 
is your starting point is what yes. i say absolutely yes anyways um i hope you guys have learned something if you're watching this video and you're not a nursing student or a nursing professional feel free to you can share it to someone that you feel maybe someone who's a nursing who's uh, starting nursing school someone who is currently taking an exam someone that could actually learn from this so this is applicable to most people whichever profession they're in as long as they're trying to take an exam so this is something that could help them and um you know if you're also a foreign trained nurse and you're also watching this video don't worry you got this because i know trying to study for an exam for another country where you didn't even study the curriculum is really hard i mean we we studied here in the u.s so we can at least say that we were able to, we were exposed to the curriculum but for someone who studied in another country you're just starting all over trying to learn the ways it is over here and you know something that you might never have even learned back in your home country so if you need to if you need to take more time as a foreign trained nurse to study for the NCLEX, please do. please do you don't have to limit yourself to only three weeks or three months you can take six months just to help yourself get uh, familiar with the u.s curriculum and then actually be able to, to pass the exam yeah and then if you stay tuned and you're still following we might actually also create a video where we'll tell you if you're foreign trained how to take some of this how to register for NCLEX in this country mm -hmm. and take licenses for service for different states mm. so just stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed make sure you share with a nurse in your circle if you're trying to go to nursing school please you should keep this video or watch so you can start learning because for me i believe i started learning i started training myself for NCLEX from day one in nursing school mm. because that was the information i took into NCLEX that's how i was able to finish in 30 minutes 75 questions because i took nursing seriously from school mm. so Make yeah. sure you start out start, start out good too in school and don't just say, oh, I'm just here to pass my exams. No. If you're here to pass your exam, be a good nurse and also pass English. Absolutely. So thank you very much. All right, guys. I hope you promote, absorb, and emote. And you pass all your exams. Yeah. Please like, subscribe, and comment on this video. All right, on guys. On this video. Thank you, guys. Bye. See you Bye. soon. It's your girl, Jay. Yeah.